When the Ghana government hosted a public forum on the broadcasting industry, it was very clear that the guest speakers wanted to see collaboration between the stakeholders and the administration. The members of the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, TATT, urged the Guyanese government officials and the members of the fledgling broadcast authority to work with those in the industry to come up with the systems that will work in the best interest of all. We have always encouraged the industry to self-regulate. We have always done that. And that they would have suggested a co-regulatory approach is even much more winning. But the fact that in pushing the, the envelope, so to speak, and in coming around and understanding where it's at and that standards are important and it builds that credibility is a plus plus to what we have achieved. The officials of the TATT were brought in by the Ghana government and the National Frequency Management Unit, the NFMU, to explain the procedures in the neighboring CARICOM country and what Guyana can learn from the Trinidad and Tobago experience. The officials noted that Guyana may be in a better position to institute a code of conduct for broadcasters in terms of content classification that will allow the public to receive material on the airwaves that would lead to social cohesion. The officials pointed out that in Trinidad and Tobago it took a long time and a lot of work to bring the broadcasters and the regulators to a point that a code of conduct could now form part of the regulations. Do the social responsibility there were frameworks where, where, where complaints are managed. Here it's discussed as a, a clearinghouse for complaints. So that, um, so that issues both on the social side as well as relating to the management of spectrum can be managed in a transparent way to the satisfaction of all parties. The TATT deals with both spectrum regulation and broadcasting. The officials noted that there is the need for a transparent process in the allocation of frequencies for radio and television stations. The National Frequency Management Unit, the NFMU in Ghana, has never really published the frequencies allocated to current broadcasters and what frequencies may be available for future entrants to the market. There has been some contention too over the new Broadcast Act and the way the persons were appointed to the board of the new authority. The president nominated and appointed all but one member. Uh, the TATT officials will continue to have meetings with various stakeholders in Guyana in the coming days. For Capital News, Enrico Wilfred reporting.